But we begin this Friday night with breaking news. Federal prosecutors have now charged Ed Snowden with espionage. Ed Snowden is the former National Security Agency contractor who leaked documents about top secret surveillance programs. He's also facing charges of theft and conversion of government property. The leak sparked national and international debates about the secret powers of the NSA to infringe on the privacy of both Americans and foreigners. Our chief judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano, is on the line with us now. Judge, does this come as a surprise to you? No, it doesn't come as a surprise at all, Chef. In fact, it's necessary for the government in order to, to start extradition, wherever he is, he may still be in Hong Kong or he may be in another country, to have uh, criminal charges filed. These are preliminary criminal charges. This is not a grand jury indictment, but this is sufficient to start the ball rolling to authorize agents of the country, whatever country he's in, to arrest him and begin the process of getting him back here. As it always does when the government veil of secrecy is lifted in some way, the government is screaming that, that he has caused problems and endangered lives in this country, while the other side seems to say, it's about time we knew what the, the, the government's doing to us. What's your position here? Well, my own view is that he's done the right thing by exposing to the American public that its popularly elected government has been spying on nearly every voter and every person in the country. The issue for him is whether or not a court will permit him to make, his, make that argument, which is essentially a moral and constitutional argument. It's not a legal defense. He has essentially admitted to having done what the government has charged him with. But he wants to be able to tell a jury, I'm, I'm guessing this, Shep, obviously I haven't spoken with him, he wants to be able to tell a jury that he served a higher good, which was his oath to uphold the Constitution, and for that reason he did the right thing. The question is, will the judge, whoever this case is assigned to, permit him to make that argument? Judge, th this is obviously breaking in on short notice and the rest, but espionage, what can happen to him? Well, but espionage is a, is, a, um, is a charge that basically means doing something to, to help the country's enemies. It's not treason, so he can't get the death penalty. But he could serve a life sentence depending upon the harm that the government can show he caused the country and the help the government can show he provided to the country's enemies. This is, this is a high bar for the government to meet. Uh, but apparently it's, uh, it's going to attempt to do so. Judge Napolitano, stay with us if you would. I want to bring in Jennifer Griffin. She's our national security correspondent and with us live tonight from the Pentagon. Jennifer, what do you know? Well, what we know is that U.S. officials have told our Ed Henry over at the White House that, in fact, federal prosecutors have filed a sealed criminal complaint against NSA leaker Edward Snowden. The U.S. is going to be asking for Snowden to be detained on a provisional arrest warrant. This is a first step in requesting extradition from Hong Kong, as the judge was just describing. Snowden was charged, um, as we've learned, with espionage, theft and conversion of government property. And uh, what we do know is that the case has been sealed in the Eastern District Court of Virginia. That's important because uh, that's where his employer, Booz Allen, is located. It's also a court that has dealt with a lot of national security cases over the years. So uh, it will be very interesting to see if the Hong Kong government, which again will have to get permission from China, if, if I understand correctly, uh, whether they will proceed with an extradition of Edward Snowden, if in fact they know where he's located at this time, Chef. You know, we've been led to believe, Jennifer, that more leaks are coming, that we're going to learn more about how the government operates by, in the shadows. What's your sense of things here? Well, it's very interesting that today there was another uh, leak, presumably from Snowden, too, because it, it appeared in both the Washington Post and the Guardian newspaper, which has been his outlet up until now. That classified um, document dealt with the NSA's rules for um, for listening in on Americans telephone conversations and email uh, communications overseas with foreigners. It, it raised certain interesting issues that until now had been discussed, but we had not seen in black and white. So uh, Edward Snowden has said repeatedly that more leaks are coming. That, and, and so there is, there's a little bit of a cat and mouse game at this point in time.